that was given to me as a gift from a customer, a client. Pretty cool, pretty tough. It's supposed to last a lot longer than a normal Sharpie. I don't know how that would work. Ooh. I gotta tell you, <clears throat> I absolutely enjoy the heck out of Amazon. <clears throat> you can order anything on Amazon. I do something backwards. Uh, a lot of people will search the local stores and um, they'll go and check the thing out. Got a little tired. I'll talk to her about that. They will go and check the thing out at the store, and then they'll buy it online, and that is wrong. You should not do that. Uh, there is a PragerU video in the description. There's a link to that video. You should watch that. Um, whether you are a Christian or a Jew or whatever you are, no matter what you are, you should understand that to go in and take the resources of a shopkeeper so that you can go get a better price online is kind of crap. It's, it's a bad thing to do. Um, I've been preaching that for years. I shared that video with a buddy the other night and he was like, wow, you learned that from that? I was like, no, I, I've always said that. And uh, since the online shopping thing has become a thing, more and more people are going and shopping, handling the thing, handing it back, and then going and buying it online. I kind of do the opposite. <laughs> I go online and I flesh out my ideas and I, I, I not flesh them out, but I run them through and I go, oh, I think I like that. And then I go check it out at a local place. And if the price difference is not drastic, I'll buy it at the local place. And I have on occasion told the local shop, I would rather buy this from you but I found it for this price online. They will work with you on the price. More times than you can believe, they will work with you on the price. I found this bag online. This is the uh, 511 Moab. I don't remember the number. This is a really cool bag. It's a cross shoulder bag. It's a single strap, so it goes around. And, uh, which is really cool because you can grab it, sling it, and uh, the bag is in front of you. So you're, ugh, it's so hard to get this thing off. You're carrying it, you're walking like this, right? And I really got it to ride the Harley. <laughs> but you can grab it, bring it around, unzip it, and, you know, get stuff out. I really like that. It's really cool. This is basically a big purse. <laughs> It's kind of a survival bag, but it's it's just a big purse for me. Uh, it's got all my it's got my wallet with my other cards. It's got all my membership cards in it. Um, anyway, I found this online and I, I looked at several bags and then I went and checked it out at a local store and I bought it at the local store and it was ten dollars more at the local store than it was on Amazon. I paid the ten dollars. I've got a local store I can go look at the thing at. I mean, come on, so that's worth ten dollars. That's worth ten dollars. You really should consider that. Anyway, things like the Shade Tech patch, you know, kind of retarded, but uh, that stuff's not available locally. Put that on Amazon. The tripod you're watching me from, Amazon. One of the things I absolutely love about shopping online is you can find refurbished items that you can't get. You know, and you find a lot of the stuff through Amazon, which is really cool. Got a package here from the whole new bean. So to my Japanese friends, especially those of you who sent me this, Hoyogazimas. And Domo Aragato. Anyway, um, from Japan Post, I got a cool new package. I have told you guys before, uh, one of my favorite items is my, oh, speaking of the bag, my Sony Action Cam. This is awesome. 
I learned from Tyler at Everride. There's a link to his channel in the description down there in the doobly doo about using uh, dual lock to mount these to your helmets, boom, you know, and little aluminum bars that you can bend to shape real easy. Uh, you're mounted by dual lock to a bent aluminum bar onto the tripod from Amazon, an Amazon Basics tripod. Anyway, I uh, really love these little Sony action cams. Now this thing has been with me for uh, almost as long as I've had a YouTube channel, so two, three years. This thing has seen some serious, very serious abuse. Um, the uh, video where I took the target out on the motorcycle, uh, it's called Eclipse Portability, um, where I took the target out on the motorcycle. I mounted this thing way off so you could see behind me, you know, me following me. And uh, I dropped this two, three times. I've dropped it several times besides that. There are a lot of little nicks and dings. I hope that's focusing. I, I'm sure it's not. There are a lot of little nicks and dings all over the thing. The little door broke off. This thing has dealt with some serious abuse. Uh, and it's handled it. It's just kept going. I'm very impressed with the Sony action cams. Very happy with the Sony action cams. Uh, this one seems to want to turn off all the time now. So I'm having problems with it. One of the great things about these that you do not get with the Go... One of the great things about these that you do get with the GoPro is the memory cards come out, right? So you can take the memory cards out. You can add more memory. You can just stick another memory card in there. Uh, it's coming on. Wait. And it recognized memory card. So with that memory card at 60 frames per second, I've got two hours and 21 minutes. Uh, this battery is actually good for just a touch over an hour. I'm going to shut this off. So with two of these batteries, you can fill that two hour uh, memory card pretty quick and easy at 60 frames per second. And that's the battery. That's something you don't get with the GoPros. Um, I dig the GoPros. They've totally got the marketing thing cornered. I, I like GoPro. That's a cool thing. But uh, I've seen buddies fight with charging their GoPro. Not cool, man. Not cool at all. So that is my Sony Action Cam. It is starting to fail on me, which is a surprise that it lasted this long. It has absolutely been abused and it has tolerated more than I would have thought. Uh, tonight, We have a four-year Templeton, and a dog is the English would say. Mm. So happy Monday! I'm not going to put a link in the description down uh, on the tenacious unboxing. I had a guy post a thing that said. Uh, at this time, he actually opens the box. <laughs> so all my BS aside, here's me opening the box. Like I said, before he said this is when he opens the box, um, <laughs> all that other stuff aside, here's me opening the box at whatever time frame this is after the edit. I gotta tell you guys, um, this knife is labeled 8CR 13 MOV. I gotta assume that's like a uh, chromoly uh, blend. The interwebs tell me that that is uh, a knockoff of OS 8 steel. And uh, one of the guys at work. Uh, went and picked one up and he got a smoking deal on it at Walmart believe it or not talk about spending money at your local shops he got a smoking deal on this knife at Walmart his is the black with the stainless 
uh, no no coating on the blade, no coating on the liners. So his is black and silver, but uh, he saved I think 20 or 30 bucks over mine. I have been using this for work. I hope you can see that. You probably cannot. I'm gonna hold it like that too. Um, I arced that out and bit the blade with uh, 12 volt arc burn. Um, I just put an edge on it last night and this thing is amazing. I really like this knife. I liked the VG10 over the Aus 8. Um, this, whatever they're doing to mimic Aus 8. Oh, damn. Uh, whatever they're doing to mimic Aus 8 on this knife is phenomenal. It takes so much abuse. It holds an edge for so long and it takes an edge back really quickly. A few passes on the uh, Spyderco triangle sharpener and it is phenomenal. It's, it's just right back up to speed. So anyway, uh, I ordered this on Amazon. It comes to us used. From Hiroyuki Kinoshita. Buddy, I butchered your name. I'm sorry if I did. Uh, Yuki Kinoshita. Fujitagata. I'm not even going to be able to. Gaken Biru. I'm not even going to try that. Watashi. I love the sound of Japanese when it's spoken. It just sounds so cool. Uh, anyway. This is a refurbished. It's used. And it came with a few extras. Um. I'll tell you, I plan on using the extras with the old camera, and if the extra footage, if the extra footage comes through, i.e. the camera doesn't shut off, then awesome, I'll use it. If uh, that's not the case, then you know, I won't use it. My intention is this is my primary camera. The one that I've been using will be my backup, like uh, another view camera. I want to start doing a lot more motorcycles. The weather is starting to um, the weather is starting to actually get really nice here, so uh, we're going to do that. This come with the thing on Amazon. You got to know this is less than 150 bucks for all this stuff. So these things are awesome. This one has a curvature. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, it fits on the helmets really well. This one is flat, so that one will fit to the bike really well with the sticky. Uh, probably what I will do is, like I did with the last ones, and then I lost them. I have no idea where they're at. I will put dual lock there. Uh, the other one, like this, is actually on... It's on the helmet for the Harley. So, those came with it. Really cool. This came with it. What is this? Huh? A way to charge the thing. That's cool. You can always use more of those. It's got the USB uh, charging port. Oh, and I forgot to say, I will put a link in the description for where I got this also. That's easy enough to do, right? Just go on Amazon. It says it's delivered. Click on the link, copy it, and put it down there. Cable. Woohoo! Super excited about that. Not really. <laughs> okay. This. Oh no. A travesty. This is of absolutely no use to me because it's in. Entirely in Japanese. Katakana, hiragana. Correct me in the description. I would love to hear from you if you're from Japan. Yeah. So this is basically like the next generation after the camera I have, which was a few generations old. I'm gonna put that down there for you. And oops. Don't knock that over. You can pause that and read it if you want. 
I didn't give him a point. <clears throat> do you want to Google Translate? <laughs> That's what I would have to do. Oh, I'm going to put that down there because I am never going to look at that. Alright, let's see what we got. You know what? Let's be awesome. I don't want to disappoint the Serpent ZA. I want to stay awesome. Ooh. Oh, 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 don't do that. So if you've watched any of my channels, you know, any of my channels, any of my videos, you know that I am a sucker for packaging. Four-year Templeton Rye in Newcastle. Uh, either one of them is fantastic, but together they are phenomenal. So as you know, I am a sucker for packaging. I love packaging. I cannot believe, <laughs> buddy, you could have knocked twenty dollars off the price of that. But that is cool. I will not complain about it. I don't know what in the heck I'll do with it, but throw it in the trash. So. Mm, oh. Look at that. You gotta unscrew it. Let's see if we can make this work. This is a uh, very unusual tool. It belonged to my grandfather. My dad's father. Very strange. Uh, back before people could steal your identity because there were no computers anywhere. Uh, Grandpa would put his social security number on all his tools. <laughs> You'd never do that today. You don't want anybody to see your social security number. But... Oh, that's Titan. So, we're going to loosen. It's an odd little tool, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to hold that. this point should be able to just thumbnail it. Hmm. Ooh. I'll tell you what, I am gonna take that screw out of there and oh well I'll find it later. I don't want to bore you with that. I will take that screw and I'll use that to uh, make aluminum brackets. So I have one of these, it's really cool, except for mine, again, one of those falling off of the mount incidences. Mine has a nice scratch right here, so um, the intention that I have is to use this case with my old camera. I do not believe I will be using the case with this camera. Um, I will use this one similar to the way I use that one. If I only get two or three years out of it, I'll be fine with that. Um, anyway, the way this case works, you it says open, you pull this down, and you lift this up, and then it lets the front case go like that. Uh, this one is missing a little door. It's also got the uh, dual lock patches on it. Oh, damn, I haven't even used this yet. Come on, John. So this is really close. This is the AS20, uh, Wi-Fi capable. This is the HDR AS30V. Um, it is near field communication and Wi-Fi capable, which is kind of cool. And I'll tell you why. Um, I got it set up where the phone was on this piece of aluminum and so was the camera and you couldn't see the camera through the phone but the phone was zoomed in on the target 
and the camera was taping me shooting. It's one of the neighbor kids. <laughs> Uh, sorry about that guys it's just one of the things I'm not going to be filming inside um, it's so nice out today anyway uh, so with the near field communication I can actually have them next to each other and communicating I don't know exactly how that I'm saying that out loud that's going to help but uh, this still has the door on it this one uh, Rob's going full on Tom Petty tonight. That's cool. <laughs> I love Tom Petty. Uh, this one's 11.5 megapixels. 11.9. I think this one was less. I can't remember, and I've got the stuff on it. So um, they are both HD. They are both Carl Zeiss optics. Fantastic optics. Most of the uh, motorcycle traveling down the road video that you've seen. Most of that video is off of this camera with that lens. So I expect the same quality and clarity out of the new one. Um, I think it'll be fantastic. I just realized I'm gonna have to figure that out. This one also has a GPS logo on it. I believe that that is going to tell me where I am when I was recording. That'll be kind of cool. Unnecessary though, I don't really need that um, information. In the bottom here, uh, like the other one, you have the ability to stream directly from the camera and the memory card. We'll get to that in a second. Um, you have the ability to stream directly to a television with an HDMI cable. That cable is on the television that I have over my workbench in the garage currently. Um, I can plug this directly into that and I can play what's on here directly to the TV. If you grew up in the 80s with a VCR, eat your heart out. That will play whatever's on the memory card. That replaces a VCR. Kind of cool. Anyway, you also have a uh, micro USB for charging. You also have uh, the old style well, this is HDMI out. Maybe that's where that cable plugs in. I'm trying to remember where this one goes to. And then there's a microphone port. So this little door will probably be deleted by me, i.e. removed, ripped off, chucked aside. Um, I don't know what SD is. I have not turned this on yet. Opening the back. This came with an actual Sony battery. If you watch my video on the Wasabi batteries, uh, that this has an actual Sony battery, that is kind of a big deal. Um, Sony batteries are awesome. The Wasabi batteries, for the price, are awesome. But you have to put that qualifier in there. Uh, I hope you can see that. Just like the little picture says, there's a little arrow with the picture of the oval for the battery. Uh, the, the arrow goes up goes back in there boom this camera came with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card um, in the circle it has a 10 fantastic I can't can't argue with that at all um, I'm pretty sure 10 is the way to go let me double check that real quick I know when I researched it for this one, I bought the top of the line, and in the circle, I rode over it. It says micro SD and then a little U with a one inside of it. I know when I bought this, I bought the best that I could get, so I'll have to double check that 10. And, uh, well, you saw it pop up just now. It said whether that was good or not, so um, we'll see if we'll be using that. I also ordered online another micro USB card similar to these, only 64 gigabytes. Not that the battery will hold out that long. So anyway, there you go. 
Uh, there's a link down in the description. I'm going to shut this down because I know it's probably run on way too long. Um, I'll see how this goes. I'll do a follow-up. Uh, I really like these little cameras. The Sony Action Cams are just fantastic. They have been nothing but great for me. Um, I don't think you can do a whole lot better than this for what I'm doing with it. I also got a couple of microphones. I didn't bring those out tonight. Again, I mean, this would go long. I'm a little long-winded with this stuff. Um, I'm going to get my dual lock on the side here so I can get it rocking and rolling. And uh, we'll see how this does. I'll do a follow-up with it. You'll see some videos uh, with video from this camera. And hopefully it's as awesome as I'm hoping it is. Uh, it should be a little bit better than the one I've got. It should be a lot better because the one I've got is broken. But uh, this should be a little bit better than that one was when it was fresh and brand new. And if we can get the microphone in the helmet working right again. Uh, for a short while it seemed like it was working real good. And uh, I can't seem to get good audio out of it anymore. So I replaced the microphone as well. I'll go over those when I do the review on this. Whether or not this was a good thing. That was the unboxing. Um... Thank you to my Japanese friend. I cannot say your name, so I'm not going to try. And uh, thank you to Amazon. And remember, if you can get it locally, you probably should. Keep your brick and mortar stores open, guys. If there's something you can do to keep them open, if it's just a couple dollars more, it's really important that you do that. And uh, if you've ever gone down and fondled a thing and checked it out, that bag... I got to play with it for about 20 minutes before I bought it. Uh, that's something you can't do online. And that's something that's kind of going away. And we need to do what we can to stop that from going away. If it costs a few extra dollars, uh, do what you can to keep that going. I don't know how it is abroad, but this should be a general idea for you. In the United States, um, in the United States, about 70% of the businesses in this country are mom and pops. They're small businesses that are owned by a, um, a single person or, you know, a partnership, a small partnership. They might uh, LLC them. They might do a small S Corp type of thing, whatever. But most of the companies that uh, you will deal with are even the ones that have an online presence. 70% of them are uh, sole proprietor. It's, it's just a guy who started a business doing what he did. And uh, if you can support those, it's a really good idea. I don't want to get too preachy on that, guys. I'm going to leave it go after that. And uh, I'll let you know how this thing goes. Thanks for watching the video. And uh, have a great day. Whatever time you're watching this. We'll catch you on the next one. I doubt very seriously you can hear that music over the traffic noise and all that stuff, but uh, Buddy Cross Street Rob, uh, getting pretty tight with that dude, he's pretty cool, really like him, uh, he got a new amp, <laughs> it sounds really good, even from over here, like most people are like, oh my god, the neighbors play music real loud. He's actually playing the music on the guitar and it sounds great. <laughs> anyway. Free falling. He sings about as good as I do though, but he plays the guitar really good. Anyway. <laughs>